Have you ever questioned if our reality is real or simply a simulation, a construct of superior intelligence? As we stroll through the garden of our existence, we occasionally stumble upon the peculiar pebbles of perception. What is reality? Is it a tangible, objective entity? Or is it a subjective interpretation of sensory stimuli? Some argue that reality is as diverse as the minds that perceive it, a unique tapestry woven by individual consciousness. Now let's entertain a thought, the simulation hypothesis. This radical theory suggests that our world, as we know it, might be an artificial construct, a sophisticated simulation designed and controlled by a higher form of intelligence. Yes, you heard it right, like characters in a cosmic video game. It's a concept that straddles the line between science fiction and philosophy, but it's one that has captivated the minds of many. The idea is mind-boggling, but it's one that has gained serious consideration among scientists and philosophers. The simulation hypothesis suggests that we might be living in a simulated reality, much like a video game. It's a concept that pulls us into a labyrinth of philosophical and scientific contemplation. The origins of this hypothesis trace back to ancient philosophical arguments, but it was given a modern twist by the Swedish philosopher Nick Bostrom in 2003. He proposed that if a civilization could reach a post-human stage, they would likely run many simulations of their evolutionary history. These simulations would be indistinguishable from reality for the beings within them, leading to the startling conclusion that we are more likely simulated consciousness than not. But what does this mean? Well, it's a mind-bending idea that shakes the foundations of our understanding of reality. It's like being told that the world is round when everyone believes it's flat. The simulation hypothesis challenges us to question what we perceive as real and what we consider as truth. In terms of scientific validity, it's a hypothesis that's difficult to prove or disprove. It's more of a philosophical thought experiment than a testable scientific theory, but that doesn't mean that it's without merit. There are scientific theories and observations, such as the quantum phenomena, that seem to support this hypothesis, but these are still hotly debated. The thought that we could be characters in a cosmic game is unsettling yet fascinating. It's like the ultimate plot twist in the story of humanity. And if it's true, it redefines our understanding of existence. It means that we are not just observers of the universe, but participants in a grand simulation. This hypothesis opens up a Pandora's box of questions about our existence, our purpose and our future. It challenges us to rethink our place in the cosmos and to redefine what it means to be human. If this hypothesis holds any truth, it means that we are essentially characters in a cosmic game. What if I told you that scientists have found some signs that could indicate our reality is a simulation? Yes, you heard it right. There's a school of thought among certain scientists and philosophers that our reality, as we perceive it, might not be the ultimate reality. Instead, it could be a construct, a simulation crafted by an advanced civilization or a higher power. Let's delve into the evidence that fuels this intriguing theory. First, we turn to the fascinating world of quantum phenomena. Quantum mechanics, with its wave-particle duality and superposition, defies our everyday understanding of the world. It's as if the rules that govern the smallest particles in our universe are written for a computer simulation, where particles can be in multiple places at the same time or behave differently when observed. Next, we have the Planck scale, the smallest possible unit of measurement in the universe. Below this scale, the laws of physics as we know them cease to be useful. This concept parallels the pixelation in digital images. Just as an image becomes pixelated when you zoom in too much, the universe seems to have a limit to how much you can zoom in. This graininess of reality could be an indication of a simulated universe. Then there's the mathematical nature of the universe. The laws that govern our universe are astonishingly mathematical. From the spirals of galaxies to the orbits of planets, everything can be described using mathematical equations. This mathematical precision suggests our universe could be a computational construct. Finally, the peculiarities of the cosmos itself, the Goldilocks conditions that allow life to exist, the finely tuned constants that govern the laws of physics, all seem too perfect to be mere coincidences. Could it be that these are parameters set by a cosmic programmer? While this evidence is not definitive, it does give us reason to ponder the nature of our reality. 
Are we in a cosmic game playing out our roles, oblivious to the fact that we're part of a grander design? Only time and perhaps further scientific discoveries will tell. If we do live in a simulation, what does this mean for us and our understanding of existence? Let's pause and ponder on this. If we're just lines of code in an advanced cosmic game, then what does it mean for our concept of free will? Is every decision we make, every thought we have, predetermined by some higher power, or is it a result of complex algorithms? Then there's the question of consciousness. If we exist within a simulation, are our minds, our feelings, our self-awareness just illusions crafted by some sophisticated software? And what about the nature of existence itself? If our reality is nothing more than a simulated construct, then what is real? Does real even have any meaning in such a context? These are profound, unsettling questions. They challenge our most basic assumptions about ourselves and the world around us, yet they are essential to grapple with. Whether or not we are living in a simulation, the question forces us to reconsider our understanding of reality. The simulation hypothesis is a fascinating concept that challenges our perception of reality. It dares us to look beyond the tangible, to question the very fabric of our existence. We've explored this notion, diving deep into the science and philosophy that underpin it. We considered the simulation hypothesis itself, a daring proposition that suggests our reality might be nothing more than a sophisticated digital construct. We delved into the scientific evidence that, while not conclusive, certainly fuels this captivating conjecture. We examined the philosophical implications of such a possibility, the profound questions it raises about consciousness, free will, and our place in the universe. It's an intellectual journey that leaves us with more questions than answers. But isn't that the allure of philosophy, the pursuit of wisdom and understanding, even when the truths we seek remain elusive? While we may never know for certain if our reality is a simulation, the exploration of this concept opens up new avenues of thought and inquiry that push the boundaries of our understanding.